people were killed in a mass shooting in Birmingham, Alabama back on Saturday night. Dozens of people were hurt. Police say there were multiple shooters, each firing multiple shots. So far, a suspect has not been taken into custody, and there's no word on a motive, but we listened to a witness describing what he saw. Very scary. Very. Like, when I, I asked, I walked up when it was like just ended because everybody was screaming, there was people crying, uh, police officers, they were trying to get information from different people. Detectives say they believe the shooting was not random. Officers also saying it stemmed from an isolated incident where multiple victims were caught in the crossfire. Investigators are working to determine who the target of that shooting was. There's a certain element in this city, there's a certain element in this community who are too comfortable riding around with semi-automatic weapons, automatic weapons, conversion switches and everything else, whose only intent, hell-bent intent, is to harm people, shoot people, kill people. Valerie Bell from our sister station in Birmingham reports. People we spoke with are sad and angry. Some say they're just fed up. The church bells rang out Sunday morning in five points. Families out and about on the streets. There's plenty of people walking around like it's just another day. The night before, this popular nightlife spot turned into the scene of a deadly mass shooting. The first thing I heard was people yelling and screaming. Birmingham police report more than a hundred shots were fired. You're going to party at different places to have fun. You're not going to party at different places to get killed by a gun. Police believe it was a targeted hit. What they don't realize is you got to look over the, your back for the rest of your life. And you throwing your life away for some pecans and peons. It ain't enough money in the world will make me go out here and take somebody to life. Robert Banks says he knows the victim's families. Right now where we stand there is blood on the ground. There's blood on the ground right now where we stand there. Right now. So when you got blood on this concrete, it ain't the blood of... The elders is the blood of the youth. Firefighters use hoses to wash away the blood as others cleared away debris. All this while the community struggles to cope with another tragic shooting in the city. It happened anywhere and everywhere. That's where it happens at. And right now it's happening all over the city of Birmingham. Almost like unbelievable and expected at the same time. Unfortunately, I, I wasn't surprised when I heard about it. Some questioning their safety. This makes me not want to leave the house, you know. You never know, what, like, if you can be next, just a part of something that you really have no involvement in. I don't feel safe, you know. Um, and I have friends that work in that breezeway at another bar, and um, I, I don't see how they do it. For this city, the violence is nothing new. It's black on black crime at an all time high in the city of Birmingham and then it turned to Afghanistan and Murderham. The magic city is a tragic city. The city of Birmingham has seen more than 100 homicides already this year. In Birmingham, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.